Holy Savior Jesus Christ, to our Sunday school superintendent, to those of you that are here this morning again, we thank God for another day. Thank you, Lord. Blessing God came here and all those gone. God bless us to still be here. Somebody go ahead and look at me and say, Lord, oh, thank you. Thank you. Not, not because we've been good, but because he is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This world is a mess. Amen. But I'm trusting God to keep us. All right. Who's going to bring us up today? We 
You can't change it. Amen. Amen. You, you break a law and go to court and see, can you change that law? Amen. All right. Amen. So if, if, if man were to stand, what about God? Yeah. All right. What about God? All right. Anybody else?
You look, you look, uh, uh, and when we study in here, you, you'll notice every so often I'll run into another scripture. Uh, uh, when, when we was talking about uh, uh, Moses and Eli, I took you to Revelation chapter 11. Amen. To show you that, that they were still active. Uh -huh. They were still active. Amen. Well, what, and in most churches, they don't even know that. Nobody's talking about we're going to be in that number one name or not. Lie. All right. I mean, what about lie? Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Run, run the reference. references. References. Yeah. Now, 
took you to Revelation to show you that one of these witnesses uh, was able to turn water into blood. The other one was able to stop it from raining. And then the Bible allowed us to know that only two can do that or two. Elijah and Moses. So I mean the Bible answered itself. How many of us know this? Amen. Amen. So so then when we when we was taught earlier, we thought that, that, that the end of the world was coming just like this. Huh? How, how, many, how many of us used to believe that? But then we have to discover first the church is going to be wrapped. Then there's going to be a great tribulation that the church will not go through. Then there will be a millennium of a thousand years. Which means that God is so loving, He wants to give everybody a chance. But I, I, want, I want to be in that rapture. Because it's going to be hard on those that go through the tribulation. Amen. Amen. And, and it's getting tougher. We can't hardly handle what's got now. Mm-hmm. 
Listen. Amen. That bad, bad, bad folk who stopped going. Mm -hmm. To keep them right at home. And they found that part of their family still died. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. You got to trust God. How many of us even trust him? Do you, do you really trust him? Yes. As, as I often 
I've said there are so many things that have changed in the church that I wonder if we will ever get back to God. All right. It took Israel 400 years to get back to God. Right. And I don't think we got 400 years. Whatever we're going to do, do it now. That's mm -hmm. so a choice. Each individual. But I'm not, I'm not going to go to hell behind my relatives. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we'll hold our relatives in their wrong. We know they're wrong. And say nothing. Just a quick. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
that round the race. Let's just double down. Then give it everything and listen, we need we need us a God that we can see. Uh-huh. Once we get back down and then it got paid. Yeah. Right. Made the preacher lie. Uh-huh. Alright. Where did it come from? Preacher said, where did it fill in the fire? Alright. It came out as a cave. Mm-hmm. He fashioned it. Alright. He lied. You have to be careful with people. Mm-hmm. Fear. Fear. Drop your fear. All right. Get rid of your fear. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes when you, when you, when you live alone at night, fear try to creep in. Uh-huh. You can't hardly sleep. Uh-huh. Run a living out the window. Uh-huh. Keep it. As if God ain't taking care of you. God take care of you. Right. It's shot in my house. God took care of me. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. If he did it then, he can do it again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at his drop feet, drop that feet. Oh yeah. Oh, won't you leave the church? What are we gonna do? But I still got God. Oh yeah. Still got the most important thing, which is God. I discovered he can take a little bit oh, yeah. and make a lot. Elijah, go. Uh-huh. Now, I, I have 
been uh, what what is called confront about Moses dying and Elijah. They're all the dead. Uh -huh. My question to them is then how do they get to Mount Transfiguration? Uh -huh. All right. It ain't Jacob. Mm -hmm. It ain't Joseph. All right. It's Moses. All right. And Elijah. For what they know, talking mm -hmm. to Jesus. All right. They said that again. Talking mm -hmm. to Jesus. Right. You ain't never seen dead folk talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I said again, here's your problem. We want to put limitations on God. Uh, mm -hmm. God has no limitation. Right. Right. He can keep whatever he wants to keep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Time to think about it is everything. Yeah. Yeah. 
He says, pay when we talk. He'll give it to you in the very same hour. What is he going to give me? I don't know what.
You, you got you got you got senators up there, congressmen up there, talking about killing each other. Children are watching this mix. And the thing that the clergy thought made us to get together 
Do we all wear cowboy boots? The same kind of suit? That's not together. Unity comes from the Word of God and the Holy Spirit.
you know, and, and coming up, you should, before you go up in the hospital, they still had an auto sick for me. Oh my God, how did they give me? All right, all right. You don't take all that. All right. The see it. Man came to Jesus. His child was very sick. Mm -hmm. He said to Jesus, You don't have to go to my house. Mm -hmm. Just be careful. All right? Jesus spoke it. And when he came down to the time, the man went back. He said, What time did he recover? Uh, they said, Such and such an hour. That's when Jesus spoke it.
Lord, when it's your time to call and I will answer. We know not when or where, but we meet us somewhere in a nine hour. Lord, give our soul a resting place. These are the we ask, and that's on Jesus' name forever. Amen. Amen. Then we may stand our response to reading, giving thanks to our Lord, my Savior, for our leading this morning. Our pastor of each one of you as brother this morning. From 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, let's read 18 through the 25th verse. 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the 18th through the 25th verse. But now that God sent the members, every one of them in the body, and it hath pleaded him, so and they were all one member for one body. But now are many members, yet but one body, too. And the act did not say unto me, I am a leader of thee, nor I began to leave to thee, I am a leader of you. Nay, which for those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary, too. And those members of the body which will be placed to be less honorable, of all people. The body has no need, but God has tempered the body together, having given more upon our honor to that part that like it. Oh. That there should be no skill in the body. But that members should have the same care of one another. All right, you may be seated. Again, we thank God for being here this morning. We realize that God has been good to us this morning. When you put it in a personal context, I know He's been good to me. He has brought me from a long and a mighty long way. Think about that song, I, I can see so much what the Lord has already done for me. Not because I've been good, but because God is good. Now, we're still doing a study of God's way, which is wrapped around the end time. We realize that we are right in the midst of the end time. In other words, nobody has to tell you anything. Just look around and you can see that we are right in the midst of the end time. All the things that are happening now, all the things that are going on in our homes, in our churches, in our community, man has no control of them. That lets us know that we're right in the midst of the end time. In, in other words, when man can call right wrong and wrong right, that lets us know that we're right in the midst of the end time. Worry about now how soon it's going to come. This word that I stay wrapped up in him. For I know without a doubt, if I leave him wrapped up in him, I will be eternity with him. I don't know what I'm going to look like, but I know without a doubt I will look just like him. Yeah. All right, no questions, no comment. Let's go up and stay with our pastor. This little light of mine, I'm going to live. 